Most of the control of gene expression is achieved by regulating the frequency of transcription initiation. Various regulatory proteins bind to DNA and affect the ability of RNA polymerase to bind to the promoter site and carry out transcription. Efficient binding of the RNA polymerase increases the rate of transcription initiation. Gene expression can also be controlled by altering the splicing of exons in eukaryotes. For example, the same transcript made from one gene can be spliced differently to give rise to two very distinct protein products, calcitonin and calcitonin gene-related protein, CGRP. Gene expression can be regulated by controlling access to or efficiency of transport channels. The passage of an mRNA transcript across the nuclear membrane is an active process requiring that the transcript be recognized by receptors lining the interior of the pores. Many enzymes degrade mRNA. For example, specific nucleotide sequences near the 3' end may make mRNA targets for ribonucleases. Gene expression can be regulated by modulating the degree to which the transcript is protected or degraded. Many different proteins and amino acids take part in the translation process. The rate of gene expression can be regulated by speeding up or slowing down protein synthesis. The availability of any of the proteins or amino acids can alter the rate of the protein synthesis. Phosphorylation or other chemical modifications can alter the activity of a protein after it is produced. This is referred to as post-translational modification.